the make 10 strategy. In using the make 10 strategy, what it is, it's a strategy that shows that you understand the structure of numbers, and it's much more efficient because if you take a look at 9 plus 5, a lot of kids, especially kids in early ages, they'll want to go 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, 13, 14, they'll want to count by ones, which is fine because that's a developmental stage. But what happens is a lot of kids get stuck as just they count by ones, and if not able to learn more connections and uh, a deeper understanding, it really affects them when they go on later in mathematics as well. Because the idea is we want them to just know, you know, we'll say 9 plus 5, and we we'll want them to memorize it, say it's 14. But it's more important that they understand the structures of different strategies that you can use. So let's take a look at this, 9 plus 5. So here's our 10 frame right here. And we're looking at, we're saying, okay, what can we do to get to a 10? Because it's really easy to add numbers to a 10. So well, what we can do is we can take one of these from the 5 and shift it over, and now we have made a 10. So we no longer are dealing with 9 plus 5 anymore. We really created a new problem, and the new problem we made was 10 plus 4, and that is 14. All right, let's take a look at this one, 9 plus 6. <clears throat> Again, it's very easy when you can get to a 10, because you can just get to a 10 and quickly add on, if you understand place value, that is. And let's take a look. If we shift one over, we no longer are dealing with 9 plus 6. We now have a math problem of 10 plus 5, and we know that that is 15. Again, 9 plus 8. And all we have to do is just say, okay, we're at 9. I need one more to make 10, so I'm going to shift one over. I'm no longer dealing with 9 plus 8. I'm now dealing with 10 plus 7. It's important to understand, too, that as we shift one over, we go up one here, and we're going down one here. So it's very important to understand that. All right, let's take a look. This one, we have 7 plus 9. We have 7 plus 9. And so it's like, well, okay, if we're going to use the make 10 strategy, it makes sense. Even though the 9 is the second digit and it's a larger digit, we should still go with make 10 from that 9 because it's so much easier to make 10 by putting 1 and figuring out what goes with 7. So we're going to go ahead and shift 1 over. And our 9 now is, becomes a full 10. And that 7 now became a 6. So we're dealing with 10 plus 6, which is 16. Now we're going to, we're going to just, this is supposed to be a mental math strategy. You're not supposed to really have the 10 frames out and having it build on the 10 frames like this. So let's just take a look at this problem. now. 9 plus 8, we're going to go ahead and think this through. All right, 9 plus 8, I know that 9 is close to 10, so I'm going to, I'm going to change the 9 to a 10. So I changed my 9 to a 10. And then what does that 8 have to become? If I took 1 from the 8 to make 10, the 8 has to become a 7, and it's 17. Take a look at 9 plus 6. Again, 9 is almost close to is almost almost 10, so we should go ahead and um, use that one. So we're going to say, okay, we're going to change that 9 to a 10. And if we change that 9 to a 10, that 6 has to become a 5. 8 plus 7. Again, now we don't need just 1. How many do we need? Oh, what goes with 8 to make 10? It's going to be 2. So we're going to change that 8 to a 10. And that 7 has to become a 5, and 10 plus 5 is 15. And the last one, 7 plus 6. <clears throat> Most difficult one we did. Why? Well, because you have to know. Yeah, these kids are going to know 1 goes with 9, and 2 goes with 8. But what goes with 7 to make 10? And what goes with 7 to make 10 is 3. And that, that's a lot for using the make 10 strategy. Usually 1 or 2, but now we're going to stretch it to 3 for this particular one. And we go ahead and we're going to change that 7 to a 10, and that 6 has to become a 3, and 10 plus 3 equals 13.